What's going on guys? My name is Dylan and today I have another DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool little jitter freeze frame effect inside of Resolve. I actually got the idea for this effect from the music video Magnolia by Playboy Cardi. So let's jump into Resolve and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so once you have Resolve opened up, you're just going to want to drag your video clip that you would like to use on the timeline. This effect works a lot better when you have a subject that is in motion just to make it more spicy and you guys can kind of just see the effect a lot better. So you're going to go to the point that you would like to use and the point that is uh, relatively easy to mask out. So I'm actually going to pick this point. Once you find the point, you're just going to want to cut your video clip right there and just move over one frame and cut, make another cut. And then what you're going to want to do is click on the uh, one frame that you have selected, hold down option and just drag up just to duplicate the clip. And then what you're going to do is right click on it and go down to retime clip speed. And then what you're going to do is check the box that says freeze frame. Alright, so once you have that box selected, you're just going to want to drag this one out a little bit. And you're going to want to click on that clip and go over to the color panel. Once you have the color panel opened up, you're just going to want to hold Option S to make a new node and you're going to want to right click and make an alpha output. Then just connect the two lines. And then what you're going to want to do is go over to the masking and you're going to want to make a mask of the person. All right, once you guys have your mask, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of softness just to soft this mask up a little bit just because it wasn't perfect. You guys can really go in depth on this and take your time on it. But I just kind of made a rough mask, so I'm gonna add a little bit of feathering to it. And you guys can always adjust the points if needed. And then once you guys have that, you're gonna go back over to the edit panel and as you can see, it's kind of like a little ghost trail effect and then he comes back into himself. You guys can kind of make this however long you want it to take place. But that is basically all there is to the effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos I have coming in the future. If you guys have any video ideas or any recommendations for tutorials that I should do in the future, then feel free to comment down below. Starting the first day of May, throughout the whole month, I will be uploading a video every single day. So make sure to tune in for those videos. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace out.